So the sashiko, sashiko piece use all those uh, uh, tissue paper like the paper where I collect wishes and then I um, made a quilt like form. So those uh, hand stitching patterns, uh, yeah, I picked the two. So one is uh, the fishnet. People uh, wrote, uh, one of the wishes that I see is uh, I wish I could uh, um, eat a delicious fish, <laughs> which is very simple, but since I moved here, oh, I can eat real fish. <laughs> <laughs> so that was very happy things, uh, making connections. Uh, yeah, Bellingham and Japan has so much closer relationship too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I try to do the uh, fishnet patterns. I can get the fishnet and the fisherman fixing all those nets, by the um, bay and then, yeah, they just give it to me. So yeah, I wanted to make a connection those patterns and we are fishing mm -hmm. it. And then a little card playing on the table. Those are the um, bit of playfulness. Uh, I've been um, trying to honoring that women's handwork. Uh, so um, that game, you flip the card. So if there's a women's picture, shows up, uh, you can get the one, uh, somebody lost, you know, uh, the card picture is lost. So yeah, that a lot of, you know, the women's picture has more power. Just a lot of <laughs> And then the, by the door, I have a small cast toy piece. So when uh, I go to toy store, consignment store uh, with my daughter, you know, she gets excited, she can spend hours or so. But I get, I get bored after maybe 10 minutes or so. And I just thought about, maybe I should start making using those uh, toys. Yeah, and I uh, bought the cheap plastic toys and they put it in the rubber ball that's sarcastic. But I just like to connect them with some wish ideas. So the your wish project is a big project I've been working uh, since 1996. But sometimes uh, when you have a little time or I don't have a next piece to coming uh, as an idea, I always uh, want to use my hands. So those uh, bread cloth pieces, this is a wax cast. So tissue paper, very cheap material to um, um, yeah, wax. Uh, yeah, I start casting the shape of the bullet. But why it's bullet? Um, when I was in New Jersey, my uh, teacher had those, those bullets in the boxes in, in her studio. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is totally American to me. I <laughs> <laughs> scared in some way. But, yeah, the shape is beautiful, you know, copper colors. And then I wanted to use totally different way. Yeah, so many gun shooting, and then I just kind of, um, um, yeah, just understand the, the thing happening. But um, the way I made this piece, I wanted to continue. So those are the very early time I started. And um, yeah, I, uh, connecting with that, I have uh, the flat cross series I've been doing, but that's number seven. And then the Daja one, Berry Grove is an uh, extension of that piece. When um, I, was st I started using polyester, polyester is kind of the very popular material nowadays. You know, people's uh, uh, small, you know, uh, textured um, T-shirts or the top, you know, expanded like this to keep the texture. Mm -hmm. And yeah, tie dye has been used, uh, heat, uh, heat press, uh, and then uh, using uh, dispersed dye. You have to use dispersed dye for the polyester. Uh -huh. So texture and um, uh, dyeing, uh, you can transfer simultaneously. Yeah, I've been teaching in my class too. Yeah, this has been done too. Those. Uh, uh, color part is all done with the heat transfer technique. So yeah, using those technique and then this kind of idea, I wanted to expand to larger scale. So yeah, bamboo is uh, one of my idea uh, growing. Uh, always I like, uh, you know, maybe after the earthquake, I was uh, trying to um, 
yeah, and um, feeling that you know it's growing uh, uh, with passion in red. So that um, thinking about uh, so many things, if you want to make uh, those tie dye technique, yeah, you have to tie each one. You know, so many things uh, involve labor, and uh, yeah, in this uh, um, area, I've been uh, picking so many berries to eat, and uh, I wanted to make a connection. So berry is uh, the represent, and uh, the red shape rep represents berry, and then uh, those uh, long shape is the bamboo. So I try to make a connection here and mm -hmm. Japan. And then going back to, yeah, mother food, I have a couple of pieces, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, this was a hat. Uh, my mom um, brought uh, when Ami was, uh, my daughter was born, but just forgot to use it. I, after I found, oh, I feel so guilty. Um, yeah, I should do something. So yeah, I had a chance to go to Pilchek uh, and then made it to glass with the cast piece. So this is actually very amateur, you know, glass work that I wanted to show. And um, yeah, those are clothes, not um, our friends uh, crochet. Um, needed for, for her little pants she was wearing. And um, yeah, I have to explain this piece. The um, tsunami, big earthquake, uh, the 2011, March 10th, is the biggest one happened. And then after that, so many aftershocks happened. <coughs> so the, um, by looking at all those maps, it was so confusing. Um, yeah, even uh, I was uh, there. Yeah, actually, I was on sabbatical, and then uh, I was uh, staying in Japan. But it's uh, Osaka, much, much west. Uh, I didn't really do anything. Uh, um, yeah, I have no idea what's happening, actually. So those are the top map. Three prefecture, um, uh, epicenter is here. But when I looked at the map, uh, I could see so many uh, aftershocks shocks were happening. So it, this is not accurate at all, but number of um, things that uh, each day, you know, 11 is green, and then 12, so 13, 14, so, yeah, four days has been recorded. Um, so I was using uh, the idea to transfer. The country had a crack, and then people's heart also got cracked. So I wanted to have uh, like the fact and the hurt, uh, you know, as a one piece. So uh, one month after the earthquake happened, there was the ceremony at, in, at the university. So I collected people's wishes uh, at, the, uh, at the ceremony. So those people's wishes, uh, uh, yeah, uh, in, in, in this, uh, a quilt. So this is a crux that wishes are floating around. That's my um, feeling. And I just had to do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that piece, uh, um, origami cloth, uh, I was uh, collecting uh, um, wishes uh, at the farmer's market. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make connections with communities too. So I did a origami workshops, uh, and uh, yeah, um, yeah um, connected in the quilt, quilt form. So, and uh, yeah, the, in this area has one piece, that's the um, Omamori piece. So going back to, yeah, a um, little bit mother, but connecting, uh, uh, yeah, that was one of the wish form. So, when I collected wishes, uh, um, yeah, I been untying and then uh, re reading it. But there was uh, sometimes very beautiful paper notes, or sometimes they uh, send it to me by mail. It's pressed. It's like a, you know pressed flowers, or yeah, it's just a personal feeling you know, I get from those ties. And I didn't want to untie it, so I thought about it's not necessary to uh, read everything. So I kept some of the <coughs> wishes I didn't read. And then when I was pregnant, uh, I really thought about the power of uh, hidden things in the body. 
you know, something you don't need until the time comes. So, yeah, the excitement until you wrap the present. Or, yeah, I just um, you know, made a connection with uh, the words, uh, um, ideas. Uh, yeah, my husband helped me how to say things. So, yeah, through um, all the notes I document uh, and the words are picked and the yeah, video piece. Uh, yeah, I think uh, this is uh, probably the first piece uh, of the video work I made. So sand uh, is the bag um, of uh, um, yeah, kind of wish for people. People um, use a very small bag, sometimes that shape, sometimes tea bag shape, and then there's certain things to uh, wish for, uh, safe, uh, um, safeness or health or um, success of a, you know, study or many kinds of ways. So, um, yeah, I kind of borrow that form of the wish. It's called Omamori. That's also, you can purchase at the shrine or temples. And, um, yeah, I start um, uh, thinking of uh, projecting those uh, last piece and the words. So that was the, uh, it, it's called Nakam, inside. So, power of Nakam. Well, thank you very much, Seiko. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we all look forward to that moment when those first tight buds show up. And I'm so reminded of that by your work, Seiko the bud, and that which is enclosed, and that's what had the magic and the mystery that's held the beauty and how uh, short that is. Yeah. That's a wonderful one. I forget that one. Yeah. Yeah. That one is wonderful.